Yo, good morning. Welcome back to Gully TV. I got something I want to share with y'all. I got something really, really good I want to share with y'all. I'm very passionate about this. Um, I was watching a documentary this morning called uh, Shale and Sh Dale and Shaq. It's about Coach Dale Brown from LSU and Shaquille O'Neal. And um, it was like crazy. It was just dope, dope, dope. I love it. I want. I want to. I'm gonna watch it again after I get done with this. Um, during the during the, uh, the the documentary while inter interviewing Shaq, Shaq said that Hank Gathers from Loyola Marymount was the only guy that he ever played against that he couldn't break. And Shaq said this like I guess recently at the end of his NBA career but out of all those guys he played against he said Hank Gathers from uh, Loyola Marymount was the only guy that he couldn't break he said he blocked his shot eight times and he kept coming at him um, like the game when it some people say that that basketball game went into overtime is one of the greatest college basketball games ever played Hank had like 39 or something like that by by the end of the fourth quarter or something like that. I think he he, he fi finished with up you know up into the 40s or something like that. For those who don't know, Hank Gathers led the nation in scoring at a point in time. And for those who don't know, Hank Gathers died on the court in 1989. He probably died later on in that season after playing Shaq. But uh, to hear him say that about uh, Hank that he was he couldn't break him. It was typical to hear, you know what I'm saying, that type of comment because Hank's from North Philly, you know what I'm saying, and North Philly, that's that's hard nose. like he's a gorilla, you know what I mean, if you look at the way he was relentless against Shaq, just a cold gorilla, but that's typical of Philadelphia, that North Philly, Philadelphia period, but North Philly typically they hard nose and they raw with it, like Rashid, like I was saying, like uh, Hank is from North Philly. You dig? And those guys from North Philly, they hard nosed to the core, like whatever they doing, like they hard nosed, they they like suicide bombers, you know what I'm saying? Like word, like Philly North Philly, they don't got no quitting them, you know what I mean? Like they give it up. They get busy with anybody. They get busy with the police. You know what I mean? I done been in the penitentiary with them niggas. Them niggas tear up institutions, like they give it up, and he said he couldn't break the nigga. You know what I mean? Uh, that's North Philly shit. Like, I'm just keeping it funky with you. Rasheed Wallace, he led the NBA with technical fouls. <laughs> he got the NBA record for technical fouls. He's from North Philly. He's wild. He's off the chain. Go, he talk shit crazy. That's North Philly and shit. And Shaq said Hank is the first guy to ever try to intimidate him. And it made me laugh because that's North Philly. That was just, it just tickled me to death. Now, but uh, Hank had 39 points, uh, I think, at the end of regulation. Shaq ended up with a triple-double, but he only had like 20, 10, and 12 or something like that. 20 rebounds, I mean 20 points, uh, 10 rebounds, 12 block shots. Eight of them block shots was Hank Gather shots. He, he said he couldn't break him. He blocked the shot eight times. Couldn't break him. Um, for those who are not familiar with who Hank Gathers was, he died on the court in, in 1989. He had some type of heart condition that uh, he had already fell out on the court earlier in the season. And they prescribed him some medication, but he felt the medication affected his game or something, something to, to that effect. Now, for my basketball heads, Hank Gathers was only six foot seven. And, you know what I'm saying? Shaq said he tried to intimidate him. Um, six foot seven, he played forward. He led the nation in scoring and rebounded in 1989. He was a terror. He one of the best basketball players that ever played the game. Um, him and Shaq faced off. He dropped 48 points on Shaq. Shaq won the game in overtime. They said it was one of the best college basketball games ever played. LSU versus Loyola Marymount. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Hank Gathers and Bo Kimball. Both of them was from Philadelphia. Lit it up. They was originally recruited to go to USC. Somehow they ended up at Loyola Marymount, but 
This is the guy right here who Shaquille O'Neal said tried to intimidate him. Hank Gathers, six foot seven, led the nation in scoring and rebounding in 1989. Do your history. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Real Gully TV. Rest in peace to Big Hank. Shout out to North Philly. One.